Hey everybody, it's Chris, and I am back again to do another pour with you. Um, this time I thought we would try a blown flower. Um, I've seen some really beautiful canvases done. I have yet to get this to work for me, so we'll see if today is the lucky day. In fact, this is take two because the first one did not go well, but hopefully I learned something and I will pass that knowledge on to you. Okay, so colors that I'm using today are permanent blue violet. I believe that's an Amsterdam color. <clears throat> and then metallic purple is an artist loft that Michaels carries. And then I'm also, um, I've also got some of this extreme sheen sterling silver left over from another pour that I thought I would put in with this as well, because I like my bling. And then I've also got some black that I have mixed up just for a little bit of contrast and hopefully to kind of get things to um, interact with each other. I find sometimes my white and my black are, are good for extra interactions. So I am working on a 10 by 10 canvas. I have laid down a layer of white flow acrylic, um, Artist Loft flow acrylic white. <clears throat> I don't have a lot of paint on the surface. Um, so I my goal is to put five dots, one for each petal because I I'm weird. I think flowers should have five petals. <laughs> but I guess there are some flowers in nature that do have four. Um, my paint, I have thinned it down a bit, but I think this is a little bit thicker than my first time around. I think my first time I just didn't have enough paint in my puddles. So I unfortunately keep shedding cat hair today. <clears throat> I thought I had gotten rid of it, but then my cat got into one of my pores that I did earlier. So now I have more paint on or more hair on me. Okay, so I'm going to start up here at the top kind of with um, the permanent blue violet. And then I'm gonna come down here. So my goal is to have five petals, and I guess that's where the fifth one's going to go since it it dropped right there. So my goal is to have five petals. Um, so I'm gonna start this one with the metallic purple. And this one is metallic purple. And then I'm just gonna go into each one and I'm going to create puddles of paint for each of the colors. So now I'm just going back over to the permanent blue violet and adding in the metallic purple. And then I'll come back in and add the blue violet in again to the metallic purple. And then just continue to build my little puddles here. So I think what I'll do is three layers of paint in each one. And then I'll come back in and add little dots to get a little more contrast going. So this is the third one for these two. And then I'm just gonna add some dots into the blue-violet. So perhaps two in each one. And I kind of feel like this just helps kind of distribute the color throughout the petal. And then this is the blue-violet into the metallic purple. And I'm not really adding like a ton of paint with these little drops. In fact, let's go back and do a third one. And I can tell that this particular petal is much smaller than some of my other ones. Same way with this one. And then we'll add that third one there. And then let's add in some of the silver. I think I'm just gonna kind of squiggle this around a bit. This paint's a little bit thicker probably than some of the other ones, but that's okay. I just kind of want that silvery shimmer sheen to the flowers. And then I've got a little bit of black mixed up and, well, that kind of looks gross, doesn't it? <laughs> I would say it's definitely reacting. All right, and then I'm just gonna put kind of a couple of drops of black in here, just for that contrast. And we'll see what we get. So far, so good. I think my flower could have been down here towards the bottom a little bit more, but that's okay. And I just got a few black drops there. And then I'm gonna come back in and add just a little bit more of the permanent blue violet into each one to make sure that we're gonna move okay and have all the colors represented. 
You can tell I'm splattering a little bit on my canvas, but that's okay. All right, guys. All right, and then the last thing I'm going to do is put paint all the way around the, the petals, just so that we have that paint to move everything around. And then my goal is to push the paint back over the petals, just like we would if we were using a blow dryer. But this time I'm not using a blow dryer, I'm just gonna blow them myself. And so I just wanna scoop this paint up and come over just to kind of help create some cells. And I kind of want to try to, <laughs> this is not working as well as I wanted it to, but that's all right. There we go. That one looks pretty good. So the idea of this is just to kind of help to get the cell creation going a little bit. And since I've scraped my canvas, I think what we'll do is just go back and put just a tiny bit of paint here to make sure that I don't have any bare canvas showing, just to make sure that those little babies are gonna blow out the way I want them to. I had an apron on earlier and it totally got down in the paint. So, okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So let's start up here at the top and see what we can do. Okay, that is oh so much better than the first time I did it. I kind of feel like I would like to blow this out a little bit more. I think I have too much paint on here because now it's kind of flowing back down into the middle. But that's definitely better than it was. I think what I'll use is my straw and see if I can kind of guide this out a little bit further. That's a little better. Definitely lots of cell reaction, that's for sure. Okay, well, I don't think it looks like a flower anymore. <laughs> I totally lost my petals. But it's actually pretty, so I don't think it's like a total flub. I think what I want to do now is just kind of tilt it a bit and kind of move this paint around because it's pretty, it's just certainly not a flower. But hey, it's a really pretty purple pour with some negative space going on, right? I think, um, so yeah, this obviously, this technique needs some work, but that's okay. You know what? You don't know until you try. And the only way you're going to learn is to keep trying. So it's still pretty though. I don't think I'm going to scrap this one like I did the first one. All right, guys. So... We're just going to call that a pretty painting, I think. It has some really neat cell action in it. Let me see if I can pick this up and show it to you a little bit closer. So it definitely has some cool cell reaction with the paints that were used and because the paints were thinner. So it may not have turned out exactly how I wanted, but it's still a pretty painting. So we're going to go with that. All right, guys, um, that's another pour. Not necessarily successful, but it's not the worst thing I've ever done. If you have any questions, please ask and please like and subscribe. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.